Today I'm going to teach you about a terrific website called rewordify.com. This site is great for students and especially for English language learners for helping them learn new vocabulary and also for helping them to read more difficult texts and make them a little easier because it's going to again help them with vocabulary and academic language. And it also has some options for people with physical disabilities so it has ways to change the color of things and it also has some sound options along with it. So I'm going to show you now what Rewordify can do. So in fifth grade we do a unit on the American Revolution. So I'm going to go to Wikipedia and grab an article on the American Revolution and I'm just going to copy some of this paste, some of this text from Wikipedia. So I'm just going to highlight it and copy it. And then I'm going to go back to Rewordify. And I'm going to paste that same text into my box here. And then I'm going to click on Rewordify the text. And what this did, it took that passage and it highlighted some of the more difficult words in the passage and it's changed them to make them easier. Now I can see the original wasn't bit, uh, the American Revolution was a political big change, big changes. That's how it changed it to make it easier. But if I hover over that, it shows me the original word was upheaval. And I can also click on that and it shows me again the original word was upheaval and I can also have it read that to me if I need to so bring that up and click on upheaval upheaval now these are computer generated readings so they're not perfect pronunciation but it's still pretty cool now it also has some options right now it's showing all of the hard words changed and highlighted but I can go to the settings and choose some different options. So maybe I want to see the original words, not the easier version. I can click on don't reword and then it puts the original words in there. You can see up here sublime is the original word in this sample text but if I hover over it the easier version is amazing and again I can click on that to get that read to me. Sublime. I can also display both the hard and easy words together right next to each other. I can display them in two columns or I can display the original with the vocabulary column. So lots of different options to choose how you'd like to see this. Personally I like the um, don't reword, so I want to see it in its original, but if I'm having trouble with some of those highlighted words, I can get help. But we can also look at it using the easy and hard words together. Now, I also talked about how we could change some of the colors. Here you can see the hard words or original words are in yellow highlight, and the easier definition is in purple right next to it. I can change that as well. So if I go down to highlighting mode, maybe I don't like yellow and purple or can't see that so well. I can change it to green and light red. I can change it to blue and orange. I can use underlining. So lots of different options here for this. I'm going to go with my yellow and purple again and I'm going to stick with don't reword, give me the original. So after I've changed my settings, I save and close, and it changes those settings in my document. So now it reads, the American Revolution was a political upheaval that took place. Okay, maybe I want to know what intellectual means. Ooh, thinking related. Okay. Now a second option we have with this is instead of copying and pasting the text, I could have also gone to the actual website and changed the website. So to do that, I'm going to go back to the original Rewordify page. I'm going to copy the website address this time 
from Wikipedia. And I'm going to paste the website address into the box instead of the text. And it changes to rewordify website. And when I click on that, it takes me back to the original Wikipedia page with the highlights in there now. So it's on my original setting of no, it's using the easier setting. So upheaval, happened, intellectual, changes. So you can either paste text or you can change the original site. One more really cool tool then. I'm going to once again copy the text and paste the text into the box. I also have some learning tools. So maybe I want to start learning these more difficult words. Well at the top I can choose learn five of the words or all of the words. So I'm going to click on learn all of the words. And it takes me to an activity to help me learn these words. So I'm going to work on the first word there. So begin learning. And it shows me the word escalated means increased or got worse. Next step, let's listen. The word escalated means increased, got worse. Oh, cool, so it read it for me. Next step, usage and context. Ooh, so I see the word in the passage now. Authority of Parliament to tax them without elected representation. Protests escalated as in the Boston Tea Party of 1773. Okay, next step, type it. Ooh, so I have to type in, type the answer, escalated. Type the word escalated. Ooh, now it's asking me to type it again, but I don't have the word in front of me anymore. Ooh, I want to hear that again. Say the word, please. Type the word escalated. Now it's asking me what does escalated most closely mean and I have to choose the meaning. I think that one was increased or got worse. Correct. Escalated means increased got worse. So it walks me through a series of practice activities for the word and at the top it's showing me my progress that I'm trying to learn nine new words, I'm 10% com complete on that, and it'll walk me through each of the words in this process. So again, really cool website, rewordify.com, great for English language learners, and has some adaptability as well for students who might have some disabilities.